If you're ready, I'm starting the timer. Yes, please. Yes, I'm ready. Your timer starts now, and here is your question. Shoulder examination came in October 2020. Not necessarily this question. This is my question. Right. If you have read and understood, kindly begin your shoulder examination. Yes, I will clearly uh, wash my hand. Hello, Dr. Zaid, uh, of the doctor here. Could I yes. confirm your... Just imagine patient is 23 years old and then begin your examination. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see you today. I am here to examine your shoulder. Uh, uh, before we start, uh, have you had any pain where? After that, you can take off your dress or uh, top. I will uh, see the patient from anterior. He is a sitting position. I will see the patient from anterior. If there is any swelling, any of the muscle, any deformity, any scar from anterior, from lateral to both sides, from posterior. Um, and comment on this, all this. I will uh, now go to the uh, palpation. How much exposure would you ask the patient for? Uh, exposure hole, the body, uh, upper part of the body, if he yes. all yes. the shoulder. And, and the patient uh, will be the in what position? Uh, sitting position. Standing. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. Continue. Uh, uh, after that, I will palpate for any uh, increase of hotness or temperature or any tenderness, start tenderness from the sternoclavicular joint that uh, move on the clavicle to the depression of the clavicle, send descent to centimeter down and jump the up to finish the palpation on the clavicle, sternoclavicular uh, joint, acrom and uh, scapular spine and medial angle of the scapula. Uh, and also um, uh, to the, the shoulder itself, to the joint uh, itself, to the muscle, if there is any tenderness on the muscle. And ask a patient for uh, any tenderness and start with the patient to active movement. And to do, uh, pretend to do like Restriction. If there is any restriction, ask me. There is a bean and try to continue passively. Flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, internal, external rotation. Also, ask patient to push the wall and see if there is any scapular wing. And start with a special test for the shoulder for impingement. Uh, for How would you do that? Yes, how would you confirm? Uh, abduction of the shoulder and try to internal rotation against resistant or can sign. Okay. Um, and also, I, I need to examine the power against resistant also. Abduction, adduction, flexion, extension, internal and external rotation uh, um, against the resistant and assess What's the power in uh, each limb? Start with non complete and following shoulder. And uh, examination for the shoulder instability, material test, material test, and apprehension test. What do you want to uh, confirm with apprehension test? If there is any posterior or apprehension dislocation. Inferior dislocation. 
Okay. Is there any other test that you will want to carry out? For, for cement, for um, stability and... Uh, Mm. How do you do empty can test? And this is done to test which muscle? Um, Subraspinal test. Yes, good. How do you do it, please? Uh, what abduction. instructions would you ask the patient to follow? Yes, please. Uh, patient elevate his um, arm in abduction yes. with 30 degree uh, abduction. Yes. And do his down and I try to push it down against the stand. Okay. If he can, if he can't resist me or drop hand, it is a weakness or a tear in the subraspinatus muscle. Okay. Uh, I, I need to finish examination of neurological examination, neck examination, and joint blue, like um, elbow. I want to see yes. his X-ray chart. Yes. Request for the patient an infestation. Yes, please continue. Okay, I, uh, I, I will, after I assisted the patient and the differential diagnosis what's exactly happened with the shoulder must be uh, osteoarthritis, um, uh, uh, recurrent this location could be fracture or a tear. I would request the patient sh uh, shoulder X-ray and patient need for MRI. So I would treat the patient according to the complaint is conservative, conservative in term of rest, analgesia, physiotherapy, um, interventional arthroscopic or or Yes, can you present surgery. your case now? Uh, I examined patient, 23-year-old Tom. He presented to her with shoulder. Uh, on examining his shoulder, as uh, there is a pain on the lateral side of the shoulder and tenderness. There is no any other side pain. There is no hotness. There is weakness of his abduction and internal rotation. There is no uh, other restriction in other muscle. Bauer. Uh, decrease on the right side and combining with left side. Yes. Um, so what is your provisional diagnosis? Yeah, it could be uh, subraspinatus tear, could be secondary to uh, impingement. Or, yes, subacromial uh, impingement, yes. Yeah, or... Uh, could be rotator cuff tear. Acromioclavicular uh, osteoarthritis. Okay. Yeah. How should this patient be managed? Um, I should, I, I want to send for the patient investigation, as I said, is uh, X-ray, okay. MRI. Yes, and, and you'll uh, begin uh, after detailed history taking and then you did the examination, then you'll do the investigations. Okay. What should be the treatment? What treatment uh, options after can you offer? After, yes. Yeah, after consult, shoulder consultant treatment is conservative or surgical, conservative more press, analgesia, and physical. Uh, yes. Surgical uh, treatment is repaired by arthroscope or open. Okay. And the uh, line of treatment if the of surgical and uh, conservative is arthroplasty. Okay. Yes. Can you tell me, can you define the term painful arc? Sorry, ma'am. Painful arc? Yes. When it's is it painful. called painful arc? Yes. Painful. When the pain begins, when? When you're abducting the scapular, uh, scapular plane between 60 to 120 degree. That is uh, when you do the empty can test. To, if it's positive, then uh, there'll be pain when you are abducting the arm uh, from 60 to 120 degree, then the patient will feel the pain and that is called the painful arc. Okay. Yes. All right, good, thank you. But uh, yes, now I want everyone to jump in and give honest feedback, uh, constructive feedback to Dr. Zed so that 
uh, he can improve from him uh, from yes, uh, his please. experience yes please thank no yes yes I can say something yeah yes yes please we're waiting yes I'm, sh I'm really sorry i can't hear you you cannot hear me no yes. i can yes no i can my concern was how he was going about with the examination he did well but um, it yes was... it was not uh, systematic yes. It was not systematic. It was not put the look and move in the special test. So Can you just... bring Mike to uh, closer to you? Okay. Yes, so please. He... Yes. Thank you, huh? Yes, please. Okay. So he was not um, doing the systematic way of the look, feel, and move. So yes. Was, um, explaining. So I thought if he had done that, he would have touched uh, most of the uh, things that he was supposed to do. Yes. And then um, about the positioning of the patient, he, um, after telling him that he did uh, um, um, in front of the patient, but I, I didn't hear that he went uh, to the back of the patient. So, yes, I see it. No, I see that will look at the say. patient from, yeah, okay. from anterior mm. lateral and posterior. Okay, that's okay. Yes, he did say that. But like in a chronological order, uh, his examination was not there. Plus, I felt that he seemed to be in a hurry. Yes. Uh, he started telling me about the examine investigations and all that, even when uh, it was his time to examine in that time. So okay. he seemed to I, be in a hurry. No, I, I, I sur I'm surprising. I finished all examination and still not training the pill. Yes, uh, because uh, uh, you have to go slow. You have to explain. And you in this one, uh, you uh, were like uh, you greeted the patient and then you wanted to uh, like that patient will answer back but there was no patient like you had to imagine that you are telling it's like telling a story that how would you uh, examine the patient yeah, i didn't even yeah. get it percent. yeah so like in a narrative way like as you as you're explaining or describing so you will say okay you'll say you'll wash your hands you'll go inside you'll greet the examiner then you'll begin examining your patient and then when you're examining your patient, you'll give, you know, you will say, I'll give clear instruction to the patient. Patient will be standing and I will ask the patient to expose the trunk and the limbs. So I interrupted you and asked you how much exposure should be there. And then this is, this was my question. Actually in examination, there is uh, acromial impingement comes or the rotator cuff tear, but the rotator patient will be elderly. And if they are saying rotator cuff tear is there, it will not be there. Patient will be actor. But you will assume that patient is actor. There will be no patient. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So yes, because, Yeah, because this is a new to talk yes. to everything. Just, uh, yeah. And in a way, it's easy because if you know the examination, then you can just continue explaining everything, every step. So once you, this you said it correctly that you'll ask uh, when you will do the after inspection, palpation, I think you mentioned two things. You mentioned temperature and the pain. What else would you inspect? Sorry? What else would you do? Anyone, uh, anyone can jump in and answer. From the, from the inspection, you have to check for SMX is the of those um, holes, any type of scars or um, surgical type before, and then yes. any kinds of editing or, or any deformity or from all the inspection you have to check that. Yes. So. so you're looking for temperature, you're looking for tenderness, and also you're looking for radial and brachial pulses. Dr. Z did not check for the radial yeah. and brachial pulses. So you but that won't come in inspection, right? No, no, palpation. I'm sorry. Yeah, palpation. After, after so in inspection, inspection. one thing, uh, this this came to my mind, so I'm telling. So in inspection, the uh, comparison of two sides, asymmetry, yes. Uh, yes. should be added on. Yeah. So there'll be scars, swelling, any wasting, any deformities, any 
any abnormality in both yes, sides, you have to compare and you have to see. Then there is palpation. And then at the time of palpation, patient will be sitting. And then you look for the tenderness, temperature, radial and brachial pulses. After doing this, then you'll move on to movement. Then you'll do, okay. Once you are doing movement, he mentioned all the movement. You also have to feel for crepitus, if there is any crepitus. Both yes. first active and then passive movement. And then the special test that he mentioned, all four special tests, then he did mention neurological examination, okay. Uh, sensory and motor examination of the axillary nerve you have to do, and then the motor examination for the long thoracic nerve also you have to do. And then patient will be standing in all these examinations. Dr. Samin, things are a little different this time. The sector is not there. No, actually so, it's not uh, there. But in this yeah, of course. Is so, he has to imagine. No, no. He has to I have another question. I have another question. Yes. So my question is, uh, should we say some things uh, because when the actor was there, we have to explain it to actor. But now in front of examiner, should we say in the terms as we were doing it earlier or should we just narrate it? I will give an example. For example, yes. uh, in the introduction part, yes. we had to explain to the actor that uh, I'm, I'm told that uh, you are having a pain and I'm surgical doctor over here. I'm going to examine your shoulder. We were doing earlier. But yes. examiner now in this exam, should we just say, is it enough to say that I'll explain that I'm going to examine uh, the shoulder and uh, I'll say this to the uh, the patient. You Is it enough or should say, we explain yes, the same? Yes, you'll say to the examiner that I'll introduce myself and mm. then I'll explain why explain. I'm... Explain. Yes, well, I'll explain to yes. the patient that why I'm here, what is the purpose of my presence, and then I'll take the consent from the consent. patient. Yeah. From the patient. You'll be explaining this. You, like normally explaining you are this. doing it, but now you are saying it to the examiner. Yes. You'll say so that I'll earlier there was consent, and then I'll explain the patient also how much flow exposure he has to do, and then what type of examination I'm going to uh, carry out. And then in, if examiner ah. wants, he can interrupt you and he can ask you, please tell me or explain. Explain it to me. Assume I'm the patient and explain it to me or whatever like he can he can even do that right so earlier ma'am uh, there was a problem that we had to say everything in layman language but now as we are going to do everything in same. front of examiner so what same have to be done yes like yes. if you're saying that you will be saying this to the patient then you have to use the layman language okay? yes because examiner okay. is there just witnessing you and if examiner feels that you're in a hurry or you're trying to Go, go bypass something so he can or she can interrupt you and they can ask you to make you explain that. Right, right. So we'll have to imagine a patient in our mind and then narrate everything what we'll yes. be doing to the exam. Yes, I think we have Dr. Sunday. Dr. Sunday, would you want to give your feedback, please? Good evening, Dr. Yes. Sunday. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, please. So, so based on the question, uh, I think uh, it depends on the examiner. So at least from my experience, so uh, one of the examiner is the role of patient. So which means you just have to say like, okay, I've been asked to discuss and to perform to examine you, and I will be doing this. I'll be moving and I will be listening or stuff like that. Then you just act as the Another examiner can allow you to just narrate, just say, I will introduce myself, I will uh, explain the procedure, and I will take concept and I will expose like just like she has already told you. So I think it depends on the examiner, but mostly the examiner is most likely going to be acting the role of a patient. Yes. So, okay. and, and uh, regarding the wash of hand, I noticed uh, some some of this one of the three station as I think two or, or one as a uh, hand wash, so sterile hand wash on the table in the in the in the station, whereby one does not. So okay. I guess that was there on purpose. Yes. So the other one you just wash your hands right as you enter. The one that doesn't have it, you have to say that I wash my hand. 
if at all. So I don't know if, if, if that's a setting uh, as well, but I think we should look out for that also. Yes. Would you get to, you know, when you wash your hand in other station, you don't need to probably say it. Then the one that you, you, you don't have it in the station, you have to say it. But so if it's better, not available, but now I think it will be, uh, don't they have it outside or in the room, in the bay? That, they have it outside, all the bay. But you have to wash your hand one minute, then read the um, scenario one minute. Yes. But the station, for I think for two or one out of the three, they have the uh, hand wash inside the bay. Because you have to wash your hand before you start your procedure. Yes. One out of it, I think one. They don't, there's none in the base, so you have to say it that I wash my hand, you know. I think it's just there to, you know, they feel a lot of candidates make will not pay sure attention. if you pay attention to exactly. these, yes, yeah. these things, considering uh, it's pandemic going on, exactly. And, uh, so. Yes, so yeah, that's so, that could be that must be deliberate. It could be either of the two because I can remember one of the seminar allows me to narrate whereby. The others, they just acted the role of patient. Yeah. So you talk to them as if they are the patient. So, okay, can you move? Yes. Yeah, exactly. So be prepared for either of the two. Yes. And for procedural skills, uh, if you can ask them, they can even uh, assist you or they will, they will tell you what role they'll be playing. Exactly. If you need an assistant, you tell them, I will need an assistant. So they will tell you if they are assuming the role of assistant. True. Anyone else have question? They can ask Dr. Sunday. Uh, after, after we finish the examination, the examiner will give us the uh, positive finding. Or okay, we so the finding yeah, we will be written that. outside uh, on, in, the, in the outside the bay when the, you'll read the question. Yeah, I understand the uh, is a question. So, First of all, you read the scenario outside. From the scenario, you can tell whether you are going to examine the shoulder or the ankle. You already know what you're going to meet. So then during the scenario, the examiner will be, as you progress, for example, uh, you did a shoulder examination. So when you did the examination, you said, I would like to inspect the patient. You know, I would like to insert, inspect the shoulder side, the, uh, uh, the uh, shoulder, the clavicle, the scapula area. The examiner said, okay, there is the atrophy of a superspinal uh, uh, muscles. There's atrophy. So he already told you what you can see. So there's no normality on inspection. Okay, on palpation, I would like to palpate along the uh, clavicle, along the uh, scapula. He said there is tenderness over the superspinal uh, fossa. Superspinal fossa, yeah. Yeah, so he just told you, so then, okay, the next one is a movement. So when you said, when you, when you tell the examiner, okay, I would like to, uh, then for the movement, you can simulate if examiner that can, can you do like this, just simulate like flex, just put your hand forward like this, or can you flex your hand? He will tell you there is a limited movement and there is pain in that direction. You understand? See, for extension, we tell you if there is pain, if there is limited movement in that direction. So the more, Whatever you are seeing, you are trying to describe, it tells you what you're going to find Thank along the line. You. So at the end of the day, you need to remember, you know, whatever he said that is abnormal and put it as part of your summary. Yes. And my request would be take your time, consume your full time. Don't be in a hurry. Don't like um, rush through your examination. I know even in, like now we're doing it like it's practice, but in examination, even more adrenaline will be rushing through your blood vessels and more, you, there is a risk that you can even be in more hurry. So it's an advice for everyone, take your time, calm yourself, practice more so that in exam you are not in a hurry. Make mistake here, it's better, but never don't make it during the examination. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Right. Anyone else want to add anything, uh, ask anything, or uh, comment about anything? Yes, my request would be like uh, at least practice each station 30 times. 
it will be enough and that you can do it whenever you get a time don't waste your time one last four weeks are left consume every bit of it once you can't get any patient with you uh, pick a pillow imagine pillow is your patient uh, do it uh, yes if you can't find your life partner or anyone else to practice on just practice it on pillow just imagine because and then imagine uh, saying it as you'll be saying it in examination uh, so narrative way or descriptive way so if you're practicing it now and don't forget to breathe in take your time take all your time of the examination put a timer on so that after 6 minute you get 6 minute for examination after 6 minutes when bell goes then only you start it. first present your case then tell okay what uh, investigations will be there what management or treatment will be there when i ask management then i want you to tell okay first you will do the take the detailed history then you have already taken the done the examination then you uh, tell the investigations and then treatment so yeah So if you'll practice it, I'm um, sure you can do it. Mm-hmm. Good. So right. All right. Here I'm starting your timer, and here is your question. If you have read and understood, kindly tell me how many compartments there are in the leg. In the lower leg, there's an anterior compartment, there's a lateral compartment, and the posterior compartment. Posterior compartment is again divided into a superficial and a deep com- deep compartment. Okay. Oh, can you please tell me what are the nerve supply of each compartment? Um. So the anterior com. I mean, sorry, the uh, posterior compartment is mainly supplied with the tibia uh, tibial nerve. the anterior compartment is by the deep uh, deep peroneal nerve and the lateral compartment mainly with the superficial peroneal nerve. okay can you please tell me uh, okay can you please tell me what is the nerve supply of the dorsum of the foot sensory supply uh, Dors- yes yes please sensory nerve sensory no. supply is uh, by the superficial peroneal nerve uh, except for the uh, uh, first rib supply by the uh, Yes, the blood nerve. Deep fibular nerve. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Lateral upper. Yes, please. Lateral lateral aspect by the sural nerve and the medial aspect by the uh, uh, saphenous nerve. Saphenous nerve. Yes. Okay. Good. Can you please tell me what is the nerve root of uh, knee extension? Root value of knee um, extension. L two three. L three okay, and what yeah. about uh of ankle joint? Ankle joint, and uh, can you tell me uh what is the point uh point to the Achilles tendon is attached? When the, the calcaneum. Okay, good. Post- what are the muscles that make up Achilles tendon? So um, the main contributor is the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscle, uh, with small contribution in the plantaris muscle plantaris. as well. Good. Okay. Can you please tell me the attachment of peroneus longus muscle? Of peroneus longus. Yes. Peroneus attachment. Um, the attachment is through the um, insertion and uh, insertion yes, to the plant to the foot. Yes. yes. Uh, for the navicular bone, base the first metatarsal. No. Okay. 
can you tell me what are the can you tell me what are the structures which pass through the medial malleolus? Um, behind the medial malleolus, ma'am. Yes, behind the medial malleolus. So, my anterior to posterior will be a uh, malleus posterior. Um, then flexor digitorum longus, uh, the uh, the peroneal artery and the nerve. Uh, yes. Then um, extend uh, flexor hallucis longus. Okay. And can you please tell me? Yes. Uh, what are the yes? Please, can you please tell me? What are the uh, what are the movements which are present at the ankle joint? And the ankle joint, there can be plantar extension uh, uh, and inversion and inver uh, in inversion and inversion of the foot. Okay. Why this ankle joint is most stable in dorsiflexion? Uh, yes. I'm not. Okay. Uh, right. What are the movements which occur at subtalar joint? Okay. Uh, can you please tell me? Which muscles are uh, responsible for dorsiflexion and uh, plantar flexion and uh, dorsi, dorsiflexion and plantar? Yes. The uh, plantar flexion is mainly by the uh, posterior compartment muscles, uh, um, mainly the sorry, the superficial muscles, soleus, plantaris. Uh, the dorsiflexion is mainly by the anterior compartment muscles, meaning uh, the tibialis, anterior flexor digitorum, and the uh, uh, sorry, extension digitorum and extension yes, is long. Yes, this year also mixing. Okay, can you tell me uh, what to expect when gluteus medius is injured? So how how would be the role of walking? Um, sorry? Translate, ma'am. No. Okay, can you please... Uh, right. Can you please tell me what are the muscles of the posterior compartment of the lower leg? Um, posterior compartment, there is a small compartment and a deep compartment. Yeah. Um, compartment mainly includes the gastronomius soleus and the plantaris muscle, and the deep compartment includes the um, uh, the, uh, the tibialis posterior, the uh, torum longus, and the flexor hallucis longus. Okay. Can you please tell me the surface marking of the femoral artery? Um, femoral artery. Or if it's the lower leg, so yes. Sorry? Yes, femoral artery, please. Um, um, surface marking is by the medinguinal point, um, marked by the midpoint between the anti superior leg spine and the pubic symphysis. All right, okay. Can you please tell me? Um, the cutaneous supply of the spinous nerve uh, runs along the medius aspect of the foot. Um, 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 it, it supplies the entire medial aspect of the leg uh, of along the, leg, the yes. lower leg, extending uh, medial aspect. If we have to talk about the dermatome S1, so which area would that be? Um, with the medial, uh, would be the area supplied by the saphenous uh, going all the way. If we are looking at this diagram uh, on the left hand side, can you would you be able to possibly identify structure A to D? Very difficult to identify. Uh, and then is A or is the patella? Yeah. Okay, B. B. Uh, not what I'm looking at. It's very bad and difficult to. Yeah, it's a little. I'm sorry. In a hurry, this is what is it, happened. Is it the, I mean, am I supposed it's to... It's a muscle. The, muscle. Yes, it, okay. And then C. Is it the lateral malleolus, ma'am? Yeah. Yes. Lateral, yeah. Lateral, yes, lateral. Okay, D. D will be the peroneus longus. Sorry, brevis. Okay, if we can come back here to the right hand side, what do you what are you looking at? What kind of imaging is this? Um, it's a CT angiogram of the lower limb. 
Yes, can you identify labeled A to D? Um, um, the A would be the superfamily extending down as the popliteal vessel. B is the anterior tibial. Yes, popliteal vessel. And then B is? Um, uh, yeah, the anterior the, tibial. Okay. Yeah, and then tibial. C? With the posterior tibial giving the common peroneal branch. Yes. Yes, and D will be the parameter. Sorry. Okay, good, good. All right. Well, in time. Yes, good. Thank you. I don't know. In a hurry, I couldn't even find any of my lower limbs. Uh, uh, the answer to the question: What is the gait in gluteus medius? Uh, what What is the answer? Yes. Who would want to tell? We are all giving exam. Yes. Yes. No, I think uh, the gate is fine. He said it right. There'll be Ant weakness of abduction. Mm -hmm. So there'll be abduction lurch and gate will be Trendelenburg gate. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You knew yeah, it. That is the... Said that answer, man. He yes. said that. He said that actually yes. Trendelenburg gate. But he wasn't so, uh, yes, sir. and yes. uh, in uh, ankle ankle question, ankle movement, uh, yes. he said both plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, as well as inversion, eversion. Inversion, eversion uh, happens oh. at, at subtalk, it's yes. not at ankle joint. No. Ankle joint do only plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, yes. And the structures on the medial aspect of the um, the medial malleolus, um, we did not mention the artery actually. He said the uh, artery and nerve. He did say that. Uh, yes. Uh, yes uh, this motor fracture. Okay, I was also and, not uh, prepared. I was just asking him anything from the lower limb, which was not uh, professional. They have set of questions, like to, in yeah. which they ask I would like every to examiner. Yes, please. Samreen asked for uh, attachment of the longest. So when are asked both proximal and distal both should be told right yes i asked that's oh. why i repeated attachment because he, then he will say origin is from here and insertion is there and action is there because if he would have answered then my next question would be the action and the nerve supply and uh, this is like for the lower limb they, they ask even for the foot the small small stupid uh, muscles it depends on the examiner they can ask you See, yeah. so it depends on the examiner. They can ask you any any muscles attachment, and then you have to know that. You, you know, it's it's okay for insertion, but it really, really origin is very difficult because it's mixed sometimes yes. from interstitial interstitial with tibial surface and fibular surface. So upper upper yes. half, lower half, it's difficult. Yes. yes. That's so it's why, easy yeah. actually. Peroneus, peroneus longus is from upper half, then bravius from yeah. middle, and yes. uh, the tertiary one third. Okay, what is the difference between myotome and dermatome? What is the myotome for lower limb, and what would be the dermatome for lower limb? Myotome is a specific. Uh, uh, Level which is responsible for the the supplying the muscle which causes the specific action and yes. dermat supply to the to the area of the skin which is covered by that nerve. So what was the S one dermatome that you uh, talked about? Uh, no ma'am. What was it? Because they can say show S one dermatome. So where where would you show? Or what would you show? Your leg and, and the Achilles tibial aspect of the yes aspect of leg yes it's basically um, the sole of the foot which is S one okay and the medial uh, medial two toes it's l5 yeah so which nerve is this 
which nerve is responsible for the sole of the foot? The sole goes there. Tibial. Tibial. Yeah. Okay. Lateral yeah. plantar branch of the tibial nerve. Okay, and the medial plantar branch of the tibial nerve is for the arch part of the foot. Okay, all right. It's all given in the traditional notes, you know. If you magnify them, and then you can look. Okay, in the sole, on the I talked about the sole, and then on the dorsum of the foot as well. The lateral aspect is S one, which is of the supplied by the sole nerve S one, small part. So okay, yeah. All right, very good. After so much break, thank you. Yeah. Into posterior tibial artery and uh, peroneal artery. Okay. Yeah. And the, ter the terminal branch of the plantar artery is median. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, the continuation of dorsalis pedis is okay. again continuation of anterior tibial. The continuation of dorsalis pedis is a deep plantar artery which makes uh, the plantar arch with the lateral plantar artery. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Lateral uh, uh, artery is inter that lateral co um, compartment in which level on which side through the entrances membrane or which think that much detail is needed i also don't no, know no it's not if you are answering spontaneously you know no, I, 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 I i'm not i'm not to trick you i just want to know because no don't confuse yourself yes N nobody has read that okay okay thank you <laughs>